You know what I noticed about the 2000s? I feel like it had a lot of things that aren't really around anymore. Like the 2000s was filled with certain types of hip hop. It was filled with combination of like emo culture, scene culture, crunk music. Another thing I noticed about the 2000s that was very prominent was like um, vampires, especially vampire movies. They were a lot more prominent in the 2000s. Um, and it kind of seems like a lot of things like that, especially vampire films, it seemed like they fizzled out in the 2010s. Like, you don't really see too many of them coming out anymore. And it just seems like they were more common in the 2000s. I mean, you had you had Underworld, you had Van Helsing, you had um, the Twilight films, even though that was something very different for vampires. You had the Blade sequels. Um, just seems like stuff like that's died out. You know, the 2000s just had a lot of edge to it, if that makes sense. And it kind of seems like that's gone now, kind of. Because the 2000s had vampires and zombies and, uh, like, new metal music and goth culture and alternative and scene. You know, just that whole thing in general just had that, I guess, feel to it, you could say. It's kind of gone now a little bit, if that makes sense. Yeah, I definitely have to agree that there's a lot of cultures that seem like they died out across, like, the 2000s and stuff. Like, I definitely feel like the kind of era that Dr. Dre was producing, like, those type records, like, the Exhibit-type albums, the Eminem-type albums, the Snoop Dogg-type albums from that time period, 50 Cent. They don't really have records like that anymore. Uh, New Metal definitely died out. I would also say post-grunge is not too popular a genre anymore. That was kind of one that was huge throughout the early 2000s and stuff, so that's not really around. Crunk core has kind of vanished. Crunk in general has kind of vanished. Like, there's some new cat that I've seen that's trying to bring back Crunk, but it just seems like it's kind of like a novelty at this point in terms of, like, the Lil John and Ying Yang twins and those type people type stuff that did Crunk back in the day. Crunk rap has kind of vanished and numerous things like that the emo scene culture stuff like blood on the dance floor broken side and uh the millionaires those type folks have kind of all but vanished too so it's just kind of there's a lot of stuff that has kind of disappeared from like the 2000s but then you're also right about like the vampire type stuff movies i mean like it seemed like kate beckinsale was in a lot of those type movies people like her and mila jovovich who you like you know it seemed like they were kind of doing those types of movies it just seems like horror movies in general like the resident evil movies were popular 20 years ago movies like underworld movies like gothica movies like you know catwoman this darker kind of movies that kind of had like that kind of dark aesthetic had like some dark dominatrix type chick who really kicked ass it seems like that's kind of vanished and just a lack of vampire vampire movies in general which is sorely missing